So Transcendence is directed by Christopher Nolan's preferred cinematographer. It stars Johnny Depp, Rebecca Hall, Paul Bettany, and a whole bunch of other people on loan from Christopher Nolan. It's about AI. This movie has so much potential. <laughs> Transcendence is directed by Wally Feister and stars Johnny Depp, Rebecca Hall, Morgan Freeman, Killian Murphy, Paul Bettany, humongously talented cast in this movie. And basically what this film is about is a very, very smart scientist and his wife who discover a way to enhance AI. They're looking for ways to create new intelligences through computers. They're really trying hard to make a breakthrough. And they are just on the very cusp of creating a computer consciousness. And he gets shot by someone who is involved with this group that's very much against all of these ideas. But at the last second they decide you know what we're going to try this on him we're gonna upload him into a computer and see if he becomes a consciousness see if he becomes self-aware and see what happens and when that eventually does happen things start to go in a very bad path as he starts to try to control way too many things now as I said in my intro transcendence had a lot of potential great cast a first-time director however one of the better cinematographers working today and a very very interesting premise I didn't hear anything about the response to this film going in I had no idea what kind of film I was going to experience so I was very disappointed when I experienced a pretty terrible movie transcendence is just bad. It's extremely unfortunate for me to be telling you this. This is a movie that has characters as flat and as lifeless as a machine, which is very interesting considering the plot of this movie. But seriously, the characters in this film are so two-dimensional. There is not a single interesting thing that happens. The only interesting thing is the actual setup. Once the idea is set up and you're like, that sounds cool, what are they gonna do with this? He does nothing. He gives his wife a lot of money he tries to figure out ways to cure various things and kind of create his own little empire. But none of it is interesting. And none of it is really told with any emotion. You never once feel like there's any tension in the film. Every single person I talked to after the screening all said the same thing. I was bored out of my mind. And I gotta be honest, I was bored out of my mind. I wanted to go to sleep. I watched the movie from beginning to end, but this two hour film felt like two hours and 45 minutes. How's Johnny Depp in the movie? Great actor, love the guy. Has he really done anything of merit lately? Not so much. I've been wanting him to play a more normal character, and for a large portion of this movie, he does, until he's uploaded into a computer, of course, but his character was so uninteresting, even before he became an AI. Once he's an AI, he's even less interesting because he doesn't do anything. He just sits there and goes, hello, I'm in a computer. Oh, would you like some money? I'll fill up your bank account with lots of money, dear. It's just this endless string of like, really? This is where you're gonna take this incredible idea? I mean, they could have made essentially a prequel to Terminator. They could have had like the first big artificial intelligence that creates Skynet that blows up the world. And all he does is fill up people's bank accounts and learn how to cure some diseases and kind of starts to create his own army of people who are super strong, but nothing thrilling happens. There's like one action scene in this movie and it seems as if it was like the studio was like, hey, you should probably put something in here. And so they like reshot it and put an action scene. Seriously, it's like 40 seconds long. And then there's like this big overblown finale, but none of it seems to matter because he focuses so much on these two characters and the relationship between Johnny Depp and Rebecca Hall as she's trying to find a way to maintain her husband's life. But it's so bland that you don't care about it and since so much attention is given it the movie itself becomes so bland. Morgan Freeman and Killian Murphy are two of my favorite actors. They have got nothing to do in this movie. It's almost like they were like hey you've worked with us a lot on Nolan's movies we're gonna be in this movie for you. They've got nothing to do at all. They are two people. Like I don't even know what their characters, what their purpose is. They got a couple random scenes and there's not, they don't add a single thing to the movie. They're just there. See, Wally Feister can create a beautiful image. He's obviously a very good cinematographer, but there's a lot that goes into directing that I don't really think he's tapped into for one, tone and pacing and creating characters on screen that you actually care about. 
that's not present in this movie at all. The screenplay has something to do with it as well. Now, a little bit of insight I do have into the screenplay is that a good friend of mine who was originally from Ohio, who has actually gotten some fame for writing some pretty cool screenplays, who moved to LA, he went to the screening with me today and he said he actually read the first draft of that script and said it was fantastic. He said he has no idea what happened to that script. He said it was completely butchered. Now, I'm just, that's hearsay from my friend. I can't say it because I didn't read the first draft, but he said the first draft was fantastic, and he has no idea what happened in this movie. He said it was originally a very, very thrilling action-adventure film with a good dramatic heft to it. This film, in my opinion, is an incredibly hokey drama with boring characters, very, very bland storytelling, and nothing of interest that actually takes place. The best part of this movie is by far Paul Bettany. He has the best character in the film, he goes through the most changes, and you feel for him, and he gave a very good performance. Johnny Depp in the film didn't have anything to do. Rebecca Hall was trying very hard to give a good performance, but the majority of the actors in this film just feel as if they're weighted down by this bloated and uninteresting story that is a humongous disappointment. I was bored throughout the entire movie. The biggest thing I take away from this movie is just how much input Nolan actually gives to his films that Wally Feister lenses for him, because for goodness sakes, there isn't even a shred of that emotion in this movie. I'm gonna give Transcendence a D plus. It has an intriguing plot. Paul Bettany was very good in the film, but it goes nowhere. Nothing of interest happens with this intriguing plot. Nothing that could have been awesome is even touched. When you guys do see the movie, if you do, I don't recommend seeing it. This is actually a very disappointing movie and one of the most disappointing films I've seen in months. <laughs> but if you do see the film, I'm interested in knowing what you thought of it. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. Yeah.